Hi everybody, Miss Melody here at the King Public Library, and we are here to do a Nailed It or Failed It video for our Teen Tober. And what Teen Tober is, is it just celebrates all the services we have here at the library for teens. And here at the library, we have all kinds of services for you guys. We have a teen page to screen club. Miss Chris is starting a writing lab that will help you with your papers at school. Um, we also have a wonderful teen scene with all kinds of areas for you to sit and study or sit and read a book. You should come out to the library and check all the stuff out that we have. But today's video is all about Halloween. I am going to be making you guys a sweet treat that you can make for your friends. I know not, not a lot of you guys are going trick-or-treating anymore. My kids are older and they don't really want to go trick-or-treating, but they like to have parties where their friends can come over. This right here is a perfect party treat for your friends. We are going to be making pet ghost pudding pies. It's super easy, super quick, won't take you no more than maybe 30 minutes. And it's just one of the sweet treats that you could make for your friends. So to get started, here's the things that you're going to need. You're definitely going to need measuring cups and bowls and a good whisk because you're going to get an arm workout. You will also need pudding. You can go with any flavor you want. Today I'm doing chocolate because I want my pies to kind of have a s'mores taste to them. I have a graham cracker crust that's already ready, prepackaged like this. That's going to make it taste even more like a s'more. I have these cool marshmallow ghosts and they're going to sit right in our pie. That's definitely going to make it taste like a s'more. I got some packs of Oreos that we can crumble on top um, of the pie itself to make it kind of look like the ground, a little bit of the, you know, the dirt on the ground. And I have us some candy corns. Everybody loves candy corns. I know I do. All right, you guys. And you're definitely going to have to have some ice cold milk because the instructions on your pudding pack um, will say that you need cold milk. And the colder it is, the quicker it will set. And if you want to do this quickly, you make sure it's good and cold. And you only have to refrigerate it for a little bit after we get them into the pie shells. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mix up my pudding. I'm going to get my milk. I'm going to measure it all out and get it all mixed up. And that's where we'll be at. Okay, guys? But guys, milk and pudding. So the pudding package says two cups of cold milk into a medium bowl along with your pudding mix. And you're going to whisk it. Um, you're going to whisk it for about two minutes or until it starts to, to get good and set. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my packages open here. Oh, I love chocolate pudding. It's one of my favorite things in the whole wide world. Um, but like I said, you can go with chocolate pie crust and vanilla pudding. You can go with any of your favorite puddings. Um, you can just make it as unique as you want it. However, you like your pie. So each package requires two cups of milk. So all together, I will be putting four cups of milk in here. So, and always leave it on a flat surface and get down at eye level to make sure that you have it right on that red line. That's very important because if you put too much, it'll be liquidy. And if you don't put enough, it'll be thick and clumpy and we don't want that. So here's where the fun begins. If you work out, this will give you a good arm workout right here. Time to whisk. And I'll tell you what, you guys, this is going to take about two minutes. And you can always do it quicker if you have an electric beater, but my electric beater died on me. Make sure to get all the stuff around the sides because you don't want any of that powder to be left in there. You don't want it to be gritty or grainy. You just want good, smooth chocolate pudding. So I'm going to keep doing this. Get 
get my arm work out because it's going to take me a minute and I might have to switch off with somebody because it's going to tire my arm out. So it might be a good idea to do this with a friend so y'all can take turns at whipping the pudding because <laughs> it's going to take a minute. So when I get back, this will be all ready to go. All right, guys, I've been doing this for about two minutes now. You kind of want that consistency because it's still going to sit in the fridge for about 30 minutes to make sure that you have a good firm set on it. But let me get you over here where you can see what the pudding looks like. Yeah, oh, that looks so yummy. I love chocolate pudding. So now, let me sit you back down. All right, so now what we're gonna do is I have a scooper here that I'm gonna scoop, and then we're gonna go ahead and put them into the pie shells. And once you've done that, you're just gonna sit them in the fridge for about 30 minutes, and then we're gonna decorate them with our ghosties and our candy corns. So, get your pie crust out. Throw all your trash away. And I love these little pie crusts like this. They're pre-made, pre pre-ready. You don't have to do anything. Um, that makes it so easy that you guys, I mean, you could just make 50 of these in no time. And you know, if you, if you make these and some other treats and then you decorate for Halloween and just get you some Halloween music and you've got a party ready to go. All right, so let's get my whisk out of here. Oh yeah, that pudding is just about ready. It won't take long at all. I'm gonna rinse off my stuff. Okay, so just all you're gonna do is you're gonna scoop out some pudding and you're gonna Fill it up just like that. And what I like to do is just give it a little drop. It brings all those air bubbles out, make sure it's all nice and even. And then you just fill up all of them. So however many you wanna make, I'm making six because there's six people here. And I wanna make sure that everybody has a pudding pie, a little pet ghosty for them. All right, and then once you're done with this, just put them on a tray and sit them in the fridge for about 30 minutes. And then we're gonna decorate them with all kinds of fun stuff. And like I said, you could do them however you want to. I was looking for the, the candy corn pumpkins that they usually have at Halloween, but I couldn't find them anywhere because I thought it would be so cute to do a chocolate crust and then vanilla pudding, and then crumble up some cookies on it to look like dirt, and then stick you a couple pumpkins in there and you'd have your little pumpkin patch pudding pie. Um, but since I couldn't find any, I had to go with candy corns and ghosties, two things that I do love. All right, this is our last one. We're gonna get it filled just like that. And then I have me a tray here. And I'm just gonna set them right in the fridge just like this so that they can finish setting. You definitely wanna give them the full time to set, the whole 30 minutes, because um, you don't want a liquidy pie. You want your ghost to stand up on it. So that's where we are. These are going into the fridge. And when we get back, we will decorate them. Wait for our pudding pies to set. I wanted to go ahead and give you the tip of clean up. Clean up when you get done making your pies. That way you're all ready for when you're ready to decorate. Get all your trash, throw it away. You don't need it anymore. And I also wanted to tell you, come on by the library. Pick you up a Teen Tober pack. In here, it's gonna tell you all about Teen Tober. It's gonna tell you about the Nailed It or Failed It video that we're doing today. It's gonna tell you about the Page to Screen book club that I have going on next week. So what we do is we take a month and we read the book and then we find the movie to that book. So this month we're doing A House with a Clock in Its Walls. 
So right now we're reading the book and we're gonna meet next Thursday and we're gonna watch the movie and then we talk about it. Was it the same? Was it too different to even be recognizable as that book? Um, and I would really love for you guys to come on down. It's so much fun. Um, we have great discussions. The last one that we did was Beautiful Creatures and it was a fantastic book and a fantastic movie. And you never know, you might find something new that you like to read or a new author or a new genre that you like. Also in here is a bookmark contest. Come get it so that you can make and create your own bookmark and have a chance to win a $10 gift card to Walmart. Wouldn't that be fantastic? And then on top of that, if you win, we take your bookmark and we make it and we give it to everybody who asks for a bookmark. So your creation could be out there for everybody to see. So now our pies are, are in the fridge and we're waiting on them. And I just wanted to, to tell you all about that. So come get your Teentober pack, please. I want you to have all the fun that's in here. You'll find a coloring pages, you'll find word searches, and you'll find a really cool monster bookmark that you could make along with all of that other stuff we talked about. Okay guys, so we're still just waiting on the pies. I just wanted to tell you all about that. All right guys, our pies are out of the fridge. They are set and ready to go. So we're just gonna set them to the side. To decorate, um, we need dirt. So what I'm gonna do for that is I'm gonna take a pack of Oreos here or any kind of chocolate sandwich cookie or you can do vanilla sandwich cookies, it's whichever one you want, depending on your taste. This is the fun part right here. So I'm gonna throw them in there. I'm gonna zip lock them up. The fun part is getting to crush them all up little bitty pieces because remember we're making dirt we want it to look like dirt so just get them all crushed up like that they can be fine or you can have big chunks it's however you want it i'm going to crush them out up just a little bit more okay so now i've got my dirt one right there. I'll get a spoon out so that we can use that to sprinkle it on our pies. I'm going to open my candy corns here. I'm going to get me a, a few candy corns out just so they're handy dandy right there. And I'm going to get my marshmallows opened. Okay, so these are the cutest little ghosty marshmallows, and here's what we're gonna do. They're just gonna go right in the top, just like that right there. Just wiggle them down in there. Get them down in there so he can sit in your chocolate pie, just like that. Here's our ghosties, all right. And then our, um, our dirt and our candy corn. So let me grab a spoon. So get your spoon. And you're just gonna take a spoonful of your dirt. You're just gonna put it all around the pie here. Get it all in there. Just like that right there. And you're gonna do this with all of them, unless you don't want all of them to have dirt, that's up to you. I am gonna put mine all the way around here, on all of them. And don't forget, you know, you can make this your own. You can do chocolate pudding, you can do pistachio pudding if that's what you like. Any way you want to do it, you can do ghosties, you can do those little pumpkin candies like I was talking about earlier, so you have a pumpkin patch. Um, if you can find cake decorations that are like gravestones, I mean, you really can just do 
this however you want to. And on the last one here, just get your can your cookies all the way around so it looks like he's sitting in dirt. Maybe he just come up out of the graveyard. And I have mine on a tray, that way I'm not making such a big mess. And I'm trying to get him all the way around here. So, there is that. Next, you're going to take your candy corns and you can put them however you want to in here. You can stick them in, you can lay them on here. But the main thing is you're just getting lots of candy on there. Mm. Who doesn't love a good candy corn? All right, just like that. I'm just sticking them in there. He's just got candy corns laying all around him. And you don't have to use candy corn if you don't want to. It's up to you. This is your sweet treat for your Halloween party. So you do this however you want to. Just get a couple candy corns in there like that. Okay, I'm only the last two without candy corn because maybe somebody doesn't want candy corn here. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take you a little cup and you're going to tape it on to each one just like this. Then what you do is you can make you a sticker or you can even just take a Sharpie like I have here. This is your pet ghosty. And you can, like I said, you can decorate it however you want to. You can, um, you can make it colorful, you can do a sticker on it, anything that you want to do. I am just going to write pet ghost on there, just like that. And you'll have to tape these down because like I said, they're just solo cups sitting on top right now. But once you tape them down, they're little individual treats for your friends. So let me grab one here and come close to you. So once you've taped it down all the way around, you'll have the cutest little pet ghost pudding pie. So I hope you guys make these treats for your friends because I think it would be fantastic to just have you a whole set up of pet ghosts just like that and you see how quick and easy that was no problem whatsoever so you guys don't forget to come by and get your teen tober pack that has all that fun stuff in it that i talked about earlier i hope you enjoyed this video and you know what make something of your own send me a pic of it because i would really like it um you know tag me in it hashtag king public library um, you can actually do hashtag Teentober if you want to and let the State Library see it. That would be awesome. Um, but I hope you come, come, um, get your Teentober pack. I want you to come to book club because it's going to be so much fun. I might even have some yummy treats that night too. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, just hit like, send me a comment. I would love to know what you thought or what you think. Um, and if you make your own treats, I would love to see a picture of them. So I hope y'all have a great day. Happy Teen Tober, and I hope everybody has a happy and safe Halloween. Bye, you guys. Here is the finished product. That's what it's going to look like on your tablescape. Oh, it's going to look so good with all your Halloween stuff. So ghosty pudding pies.